some more hits, some more favorites. Fox FM. It's Will and Reader. You know, Reader, uh, a couple weeks back we told you a story of how uh, the uh, Church Bridge science teacher put together his second uh, role playing game and yes. he's about to market it. Joining us on the phone is that gentleman. Please welcome Rob Gosling with us. Good morning, Rob. Hi there, you guys. Hey. How's it going today? Oh, really good. Thank you. Thanks for this opportunity. Hey, no well, worries. Thanks for uh, getting in contact with us. Yeah, we, we came across your story in one of the local papers and thought, this is really cool local news. Uh, Mr. Gosling, first off, now, before we get into the meat and potatoes of what your games are, uh, the big trend right now is uh, what's called the strategy role-playing card games where uh, kids and adults alike uh, play with the cards, and these games can go on and on forever. Now, your games, your original game was more like this. Your second game, a little different, but uh, maybe the overall view of uh, what exactly the strategic card games are. Yeah, for sure. Um, well, you know, I grew up just loving games like chess. There was um, a strategy card game uh, when I was in high school, uh, Star Wars, uh, the, the collectible card game. Mm -hmm. And okay. it was really high-depth strategy, and I, it's how I connected with a lot of, and, and made a lot of friends. And so, um, as I uh, kind of had these imaginative moments um, uh, in those years, I thought, I, I want to make games like this, and so in university, I started to make some um, kind of game ideas, and just last year, is after eight years of development, I developed my first uh, strategy card game. Nice. Eight years of developing. Yeah, that was kind of one of those yeah, things where... eight years of development. Which is um, one of those things game. where you started, and that, okay, maybe that could change. Oh, maybe that changed. You, you tweak it. Oh, right yeah, there. wow. Wow, yeah. And <laughs> so much feedback, you know. Um, where eventually I, I just needed to make some final decisions on it, and um, the game is called Friend or Foe, mm -hmm. and uh, it uh, was my kind of debut into the, the game designing world, so. Awesome, and of course now you've got a new game, and it's called Monkey, and it's, uh, you were saying it's a little bit different different from Friend or Foe and how it's set up, and, and maybe a, a little more accessible for, for kids and, and families to join in and play. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Monkey is a wild and fast-paced, kind of a crazy card game, uh, much lighter on the strategy, uh, geared towards kids and um, young families. Uh, your own monkey races to be the first one to climb up a tree, but meanwhile, there are there's this nasty wizard casting spells on you, so you never know quite what's going to happen in a turn, and so uh, the tables turn really quickly, lots of laughs, and just more of a light and casual game. You gotta watch out for Kurgle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta watch out for Kurgle the wizard. Yeah. <laughs> Rob, you're, you're a science teacher. You work in uh, live in Churchbridge. Uh, now we all hear of, of people who, who do these games and become you know super rich or what have you. But I'm sure there's different, uh, I guess you say, obstacles uh, that face us here in the middle of the prairies as to post somebody in a bigger market when marketing a game like this. Yeah, absolutely. I am. Um, I have done almost all of my printing through a U.S. company. And so with that comes the U.S. dollar shipping, and uh, it just drove up all these costs. Um, and so for my first game there, Friend or Foe, I just uh, had a hard time actually promoting it because you had to fork out quite a lot of money to do so, about $90 per game. Mm -hmm. And so with, um, with Monkey, I kind of refined that process a little bit. I found another company that um, I could make a large order and drive down those costs. But that also meant, you know, to kind of gauge interest, uh, I decided to do a pre-order basis for my monkey game. And so from now until November 1st, so only a week and a little bit more, um, people can pre-order for this game, and there is a $20 option um, for a small box version of the game and a little bigger box, $30, but you get the full game either way. That'd be nice. Order now, and you'll probably have them in time for uh, Christmas. Oh, absolutely. You'll have it <laughs> mid-November. Yes, we're there. <laughs> there we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. And what's the feedback been to your games? Oh, really good, actually. Um, this, uh, another kind of learning experience I took was I, I left many, many months to spread this game out. And um, uh, so it's, it's just quick to pick up. You know, it's about a half an hour game to play. Unlike uh, Friend of Bo, which was maybe two hours to play. Um, and so it's, uh, it's just more accessible time-wise um, for people. And I think generally, um, just it's, uh, it's kind of uh, good for laughs and, and surprises you. Uh, it's a great leveler because it doesn't matter what age you are. Uh, 
bad stuff happening to you almost every turn. <laughs> so lots of laughs and you know, you just uh, enjoy enjoy a game like this. I think it's nice to, to uh, like the throwback to the old card games where the family gets around the table, plays cards as opposed to watching a screen for the entire time. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, a big part and drive for me to start up this company of mine, so it's called Bird Light Games. My motto is imagination, creation, connection. And I really, I really want people to gather and have face-to-face -face interaction and have fun doing that. And so that was a big drive for um, making games like this, you know, as opposed to do, going digital with games. The new game is called Monkey the Card Game, and uh, it comes from the brainchild of Rob Goslin out of uh, Churchbridge, just down the road from us here in Yorkton. How can somebody uh, give us a number and where they can get more information, how they can pre-order your game? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, if you go online and search www.monkeythecardgame.com, you'll find my website. And a bunch of details about the game are there, and also there's a tab, Get the Game, and it allows you to pre-order. Nice, fantastic. Hey, Rob, best of luck with your new adventure, yeah. and uh, hey, thanks for giving us some time this morning. Thanks so much, Will and Reader. This is great. This one is for our friends in Yorkton.